Deep within the walls of the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center lurks a beast. The beast is a experimental setup uh, that we can use to uh, precisely expose uh, phytoplankton different types of light. But this is not some scary creature from beyond. Instead, the beast will help Smithsonian photobiologist Pat Neal and his team provide answers to key questions about how cosmic radiation and climate change affect life on Earth. Sunlight, it's essential to almost all life on the planet. And the key source of energy that phytoplankton use to produce food. Phytoplankton are tiny plants that live in water and they're the basis of the marine food web, meaning that all animals in the ocean are dependent upon them for life. But they're also responsible for making about half the oxygen on the planet. So the rest of us depend on them too. However, even though sunlight is essential, the sun's ultraviolet radiation, known as UV, can be very harmful. The most important thing is that UV is removed by the ozone uh, that is found in the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. But what would happen if that filter suddenly disappeared? Climate change, or a burst of radiation from outer space, could do that. That's where the beast comes in. This experiment is set up so that if there's a, a large change in the um, ozone, we can simulate what might happen to the phytoplankton in the ocean. Neil and his team carefully dole out samples of phytoplankton into cuvettes. Then, each sample receives beams from the beast's xenon light which simulates the sun's rays. Among other things, they're interested in how much chlorophyll, which phytoplankton use to produce food, is present in these samples, and what will happen when the samples are exposed to various levels of UV radiation. The experiment will allow them to accurately measure how plant growth is affected by UV light exposure and how much damage occurs to different species of phytoplankton. By measuring what happens to the phytoplankton in this controlled environment, the scientists should have a pretty good idea of what will happen to phytoplankton in the ocean when exposed to UV radiation. Ultimately, this will tell them how all life on Earth could be affected by the sun's rays if there is no protective ozone layer.